Student athletes nightmares are often comprised of injuries that take them away from their teams and the game they love. Some injuries may be inevitable, but many are preventable. The team of trained professionals, graduate assistants, and interns in FSU's sports medicine department is dedicated to keeping seminal athletes physically healthy and providing the proper care to get injured athletes back in the game. What makes sports medicine unique at Florida State is the staff and the type of relationship and how we communicate and gel together. That's what makes Florida State stand out. Their presence is felt throughout Florida State Athletics. They are on the sidelines at every game, always ready in case of emergency. Before and after practice, athletes report to the Don Falls Athletic Training Facilities to receive proper treatment and conditioning. The interaction between student athlete and the sports medicine team happens on a daily basis. Having that relationship with them is definitely a key, especially being in sports medicine. These kids look up to you and they expect you to care for them. And if you don't care for them, then obviously they're not gonna trust you. Just being someone there to listen to them, they can open up and then you just build that trust. We joke about it, we kind of become their parent away from home. The Don Falls Athletic Training Center is filled with equipment worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. However, its wide range of utility makes it well worth the investment. We can go to administration and if we can justify it and see how it would benefit all of our athletes, it usually allows us to get it. This is a great experience. We have a lot of different equipment that we use here that you don't get at any other school, which is something that's very good. It's important as a sports medicine staff to have the newest, the latest and greatest equipment. What we found is the newest equipment that's coming out has scientifically proven that you know we can help them get back quicker. The same technology used by FSU Sports Medicine is also used by professional sports teams and the U.S. military, like the Alter G, a zero gravity treadmill designed for the early stages of physical training, and the Biodex a machine designed to screen any potential weaknesses or focus points before going into a workout. The technology here that we use is very advanced. It's all evidence-based so that we're using these on these athletes to give them the most correct treatments and best care so that they can go out and perform. The only difference is you see a lot of athletes coming here at a Division I program. One thing that's good about that is you're always going to have that consistency of seeing different types of injuries, being familiar with it. As a sports medicine staff, we spend a lot of time communicating, especially with our strength and conditioning coaches and implementing programs that go hand in hand with their strength and conditioning that not only enhance performance, but can also prevent injury. However, even with the best treatment and conditioning methods, injuries are just a part of the game. When circumstances take an unfortunate turn for any individual athlete, it takes a team to make the comeback. So if we're gonna get that athlete to buy into our process to get them back, they have to come in, they have to do it consistently, they have to be good communicators with us and we have to be good communicators with them. They have to understand that we're here and we're up to the task and getting them back. So I get to know them. They're not just a client to me, they're just another person. They could be my friend. If I see them on the weekends, I'll say hello to them. That's how you build trust with these kids. Whatever player, whatever sport, group or individual, injured or healthy. The team at Florida State Sports Medicine keeps seminal athletes in prime condition to compete at the highest level, overcome any physical obstacles, and come back healthier and more determined than before. I'm Chris Camacho for Seminole Sports Magazine.